working with documents day in day out especially with documents that contain different languages or working with accessibility tools for individuals uh, with disabilities and you want to be able to make sure that you utilize a certain best practices right that you follow when you create documents in word 2013 because really um, you like to create a document that is accessible by everyone that is readable by anyone so you want to be able to create certain documents that keeping all these things in mind let me give you tips on best practices that you can use while you create your documents for instance you like to use styles within your document so whenever you apply headings and paragraph styles you know they serve not only to format a document consistently but they actually in fact they define the actual structure of the document uh, itself and the organization also so users working with uh, lengthy documents by using the screen reader generally rely on occurrence of section headings to keep track of their places in documents. So you want to be able to keep your headings in a hierarchical order, right? So you're not skipping levels, you're not missing any um, heading text, so a consistency remains. Second, you want to keep your headings short. Okay, in general, we work with headings uh, should be no long longer than one line. You want to be able to be very concise, right? So that's tip that you want to keep that in mind while uh, creating your documents. Then uh, you want to make sure that your um, hyperlinks are clear. So for example, if you're inserting hyperlinks in Word within your document, you have the option to either show them as, you know, the blue color that you see uh, and it's underlined, or you can have it clear. So instead of inserting a link's URL, you can enter display text in the insert uh, hyperlink dialog box, okay? So that basically the, the purpose is, uh, the objective is, uh, that the destination or purpose of a link is clearly described. You want to be able to avoid using nested tables or merged or split cells into a table. Okay, keep them keep them very simple. Keep them to the point so that the point actually uh, comes across to the other uh, reader. So whoever is going to look at the table and the person is going to edit the table, for example. So uh, try avoiding blank cells. So, you know, all these tips are, are handy when you're working with uh, within your document. You also want to avoid using, uh, you know, blank characters or repeated blank characters. Sometimes screen readers, they don't really interpret extra spaces or tabs or empty paragraphs as blanks. So you like to avoid those things. Okay? Try also avoiding any floating objects. So the objects that are not in line with text are more difficult to navigate and they might be inaccessible to users with vision impairment, for example, okay? So um, you want to make sure that you try to avoid using floating objects. The other uh, option is you set the text wrapping around the objects, so top and bottom and inline text. That makes it a little easier and relate uh, the image to the text. Watermarks, okay, I mean, you can use them uh, depending upon uh, the requirement, but uh, keep this in mind that people with vision or cognitive disabilities might not understand an image okay that is used in the watermark so what you can do is if you insert a watermark in a document for example and the watermark says draft add the same info to another area of a document so you so the reader knows that hey this is a draft document okay so just do not simply rely on the watermark itself let's see what else uh, you can also work with uh, uh, it's a good idea to insert audio components uh, perhaps in your documents uh, you want to make sure that people uh, can uh, also hear uh, what you have to say but be sure that the content is available in alternative formats right such as closed captions transcripts or alt text and I'll demonstrate next how to use uh, some practices as well here is my sample document same document that we've been working with in previous tutorials this is again a research paper i'm going to show you demonstrate how to uh, work with and take a look at some of the accessibility options and uh, whatever uh, best practices that i've just elaborated let's see them in action so let's uh, go to file uh, the accessibility options are found under file in your backstage view notice where it says inspect document and within the check for issues box you will see the check accessibility so they check the document for content that people with disabilities might find difficult to read. So this is a good practice when you're working with uh, these documents, okay? To make sure that you want to be able to check your accessibility. So let's let's do this with this document. 
So once I click on the accessibility checker comes up and it tells me, expand that so you can see. All right, so it shows me my inspection results, okay? And it tells, gives me some warnings. For example, it says, well, geez, I'm using infrequent headings, okay? What are those? Let's take a look. So once I highlight the uh, heading, it takes me uh, directly to the area that Word thinks that I've been using infrequently, okay? So for example, I'm using a tab after every heading. The Word thinks this may not be required. Well, it's up to you. If, if, if your requirement is to have a tab, that's fine. Otherwise, you can backspace it, okay? Same thing, you click on the next warning message and Word says, well, geez, we have another one. So I'm gonna remove this. So forth. So let's move forward. Let's go to hyperlink. Another warning message is hyperlink. So unclear hyperlink text. Okay, let's see what that is. This relates to one of the citations, and Word automatically highlights this for me and tells me that, hey, I don't get this, right? The Word doesn't get this. So you need to make sure uh, that you cite this uh, correctly, for example, or you want to be able to make sure that it's written properly. Same with all these texts that uh, Word thinks it's unclear to it. Repeated blank characters, Word finds after inspecting the document that here are four characters down here. This area is blank and it says there's four characters. So if I delete this, Word automatically removes it from, from here as well. Same thing with here. Okay. Once I click on table, Word says tables used for layout should present info in a meaningful order way verify the table reading order by through cells and ensuring that you you know the flow is from one to the uh, to the next cell another thing i want to show you is the alt text shows up when someone selects a certain table so if i double click or right click go to my format or go to my table properties notice text okay so this is my title okay so the alt text are simply titles and descriptions that provide text-based representations of information can tables diagrams or images things that you want to explain to the user so a title can be read to a person with a disability and is used to determine whether they wish to hear the description uh, of the content or not so again making sure that your document is accessible to individuals uh, with disabilities okay. So once I'm done, I can close it. So this is a good way to check the accessibility of your documents when you're working with them. Check the accessibility, make sure your document is available to a wide audience. Let's take a short quiz.